Hello and welcome to part one of a five-part series that I'm going to be doing for the next few weeks. Countdown to Sonic Origins. This is a live stream series I'm doing on Twitch with my girlfriend. Say hi. Hello. And, yeah, so basically in celebration of Sonic Origins coming out uh, for the next four weeks, well, five weeks if you count this one, um, I'm going to be streaming... Every Thursday, uh, I know some of you might be saying, but today's Friday, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'm going to be streaming every Thursday um, th one of the games that's going to be in the collection. Um, but being that the collection is of the remastered versions, uh, I am going to be playing through the original versions. The original Genesis versions of Sonic 1, 2, and 3, and the original CD version of Sonic CD. Uh, now, even though I do own a Sega Genesis, I do not I do not have good uh, equipment to capture it, so I'm going to have to resort to using an emulator. But uh, to keep it to keep it as authentic as I possibly can, I'm using a USB Genesis controller, and I'm going to be using this same controller when I stream Sonic Origins. That is going to be streamed on uh, YouTube on the day it comes out. That's why I'm going to be doing these on Thursdays, so that the, essentially the uh, big epilogue finale of the uh, Countdown to Sonic Origins uh, series is Sonic Origins. You know, makes sense. So yes, all these are going to be streamed on Twitch. Uh, if for any of you who are watching this on YouTube, my Twitch is linked in the description below. Go uh, click that. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, I want to get into streaming on Twitch more because... Twitch is just a better platform for streaming anyways. Like, YouTube's good for videos, not so good for streaming. Like, it, it it does have some merits. Like, YouTube streaming over Twitch does have some merits, but overall, Twitch is just a better platform for streaming. Now, back to the whole thing about Friday. You, you might be saying, oh, Jackie, t today's a Friday. Any of you who watch this live, or I might even get this uploaded uh, after the stream is done, you're like, oh, t today's a Friday. Uh, what's the deal? Uh, that is, um, I really have no excuse. That's just because I'm bad at planning ahead. So, the reason this is on a Friday is because I had intended to stream this yesterday on Thursday, but then I went and was like, oh, let me make thumbnails and stuff for the YouTube, uh, videos that are, uh, like, for when these are going to be uploaded to YouTube and stuff, and then that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to because the thumbnails are actually pretty complex, uh, uh, any of you who looked at my Twitter, you could see uh, the one I did for uh, this one right here. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see the thumbnail. It's a little more complex than my usual thumbnails. I'm here today to do this, but the rest of them are going to be on Thursdays. Just making that clear. The rest of them are going to be on Thursday at 3.30. I'm going to have that lift listed as a schedule on Twitch. And I did a test recording beforehand to test all the volume levels, so we should be good. Mm. And I can start in fucking Green Hill Zone. One of the problems with getting the Chaos Emeralds in this game is that you, uh, you have to make it to the end of the level with 50 rings or more to be able to access the special stages. Seriously? Yeah. That's another reason why I like uh, Sonic 3's special stages as well, because... Right at the end of the level, I lost all my fucking rings. <laughs> like I was saying, that's part of the reason why I like the uh, special stages in Sonic 3, because uh, the big rings that you have to find to enter the special stages, there's no ring requirement. You just find the ring hidden within the level and jump in to access the special stage. There's no ring requirement or anything. But in Sonic 1 and Sonic CD, you have to collect 50 rings and reach the end of the stage. You have to have 50 or more rings when you reach the end of the level, and then there will be a uh, big ring at the end of the level right behind the signpost. In Sonic 2, you have to collect... Um, you have to collect 50 or more rings and then touch a checkpoint. And what's worse is that when you restart... Uh, when you exit a special stage in Sonic 2, uh, your ring count is reset to zero. 
Oh, yeah, I fucking hate these special stages, because this is... First two aren't so bad, because they're super easy, the emerald is, like, right there, but when you, once you get into the later ones... Ooh... I don't know if any of you... Uh, I don't know if any of you know this, but, um... When I was... When I was younger, the first version of Sonic 1 that I played was Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis for the Game Boy Advance. So, my first introduction to Sonic 1 was Sonic Genesis on the Game Boy Advance, and back then I didn't think anything of it, but looking back at it nowadays, holy shit, it's awful. I remember the special stages were super easy in that version, because the physics were so messed up that you would just stick to the walls. If I play my cards right, and I get the right amount of rings, then I'll have all six Chaos Emeralds by uh, Spring Yard Act 3. So then I won't have to worry about trying to collect 50 rings, especially in fucking Labyrinth Zone. Could you imagine trying to collect 50 rings and get to the end of the level without getting hurt in Labyrinth Zone? I... Uh, Green Hill's music is just... I love its music, but every time I hear it, I just think of how fucking overused the level is. I love this boss music, though. And funnily enough, it's like, uh, Green Hill Zone is fast and fun and everything, and then you get to Marble Zone. Like, it starts out promising. Look, you got the same, you got the same hills and stuff, you know, it's just... You know, the checkerboard dirt is replaced with... Uh, purple marble for some reason. And the water is replaced with lava. So it starts out promising. See, you got like slopes and shit. And all that stuff. You got challenging platforms here. Yep. Marble Zone starts out promising. And you get here and... Ugh, God. From this point on, it's basically just a fucking waiting game. Oh, hail waiting games, because people love those, am I right? Oh uh, yeah, and the wonky collision detection in Sonic 1. Like, it, it was the first game, so I will cut them some slack for that, because no one's going to be perfect on their first try. But, like, lo uh, looking at this in comparison to Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, like, there's some wonky fucking collision. Sonic 1 as a whole is actually a pretty short game as well. Like, even if you're not going for all the Chaos Emeralds, it'll only take you, like... Like, if you know what you're doing, it'll only take you, like, an hour, in case. I touched the Goal Sphere, yet somehow it didn't kick me out? Okay. Oh my god. Are you watching this? Mm-hmm. Again, I touched that. Why did it not do anything? Funnily enough, in the prototype version of this game, you actually had to control the stage itself. Which is, uh, funnily enough, they called back to that in Sonic 4 Episode 1, because uh, the Sonic 4 Episode 1 special stages are stylized exactly like the Sonic 1 special stages, but you control the stage itself instead of Sonic. Honestly, I probably would take that over this, because at least then I have some control over where I'm going! To me, the third special stage in this game was always the hardest one, so at least I've got the hardest out of the way. Any of you wondering, I am playing the... I am playing the original version of Sonic 1, not Revision 001. <laughs> Although this is the Japanese version, so there is a slight bit different. That only just now clicked in my head. The Japanese version is Revision 01. Walking jump! Yay! I keep forgetting, I need to I need to make sure I have 50 rings by the time I reach the end of the level. I'm already halfway through, and I've only got 19. And also, since I'm playing the original version of Sonic 1, no uh, no mods or anything like that, uh, the spike bug is still here, meaning the spikes will ignore my invincibility frames if I land on them. And also, there's no spin dash. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot to I forgot to load I forgot to save state because I know for a fact I'm gonna fuck up at this one because this one's an actual maze. Yep. Exactly why I'm using save states. I know some Don't people. Screw up. What? Don't screw up. I already screwed up once. <laughs> I know some people might say using save states is cheating, but I don't fucking care. These special stages are atrocious. I want the good ending, and I don't want to be here all night. Come on, grab the emerald. Sonic is right there. Grab the emerald. <laughs> 
Funnily enough, this isn't the original zone order. Did you know that? Mm-mm. Yeah, the, the, the zone order in this game wasn't the original zone order. Hmm. Like, Marble Zone wasn't originally the second level. You know what the original second level was? Hmm. Labyrinth! Hmm. It was originally going to be Green Hill, then Labyrinth. And then, I don't remember after that. Like, I know Scrap Rain was always going to be the last one. It was actually originally called Clockwork Zone. Well, actually, it was cl called Clock Orc Zone because, for some reason, they didn't program in a W for the uh, for the title card font. <laughs> okay, then. So, in the actual game itself, it li the title card said it was Clock Orc Zone, even though it's Clock Work. But <laughs> in the final game, they changed its name to Scrap Ring. It's a good thing I'm not trying to worry about my ring count here. Did I just brush my little hedgehog dick on the spikes? Literally, what happened? <laughs> I, I don't even think I fucking touched it. Why did I get hurt? To anyone wondering, I have a second channel where I upload full-length VODs and also stream highlights. I haven't really done anything with it uh, in months, but you know, now that I want to start getting back into streaming on Twitch more. Yeah. Like, you'll see essentially edited down versions of streams on my... Uh, on my main YouTube channel, and then I have a backup YouTube channel called Jackie's Stream Archive, where I will upload full-length VODs, stream highlights, etc. Although I don't know how well the uh, how long it's going to take me to edit, because my uh, my time not spent working or streaming is also preoccupied by uh, uh, recording footage for my uh, Sonic Heroes review that I'm working on. So you know, I also I also need to find time to fit in time to actually, you know, record footage for Sonic Heroes, because Sonic Heroes is a long game, so. And being that I don't uh, being that I don't have the tools currently, or the capability of streaming and recording at the same time, it's not like I can stream myself playing Sonic Heroes and then use the footage, just the raw footage of the game itself in my review. Spring Yard is kind of like the middle point between... It's kind of like the middle point between Green Hill and Marble. Like, it's not as fast as Green Hill, but it's also not as slow as Marble. Oh, also, speaking of my reviews, I actually um, have a secondary review series uh, that I'm going to have called Jackie's Redive, where I, uh, where I relook at games that I've already done a uh, review on, either because of uh, major patches, major DLC updates, or stuff like that, or just covering stuff that I may have forgotten to cover in my original review. Like, for example, uh, my review of Sonic Colors is going to be a regular Jackie's Deep Dive, but then my review of Colors Ultimate is going to be a Jackie's Redive. And also, um, there's a lot of stuff I forgot uh, uh, to mention during my review of the classic game, uh, like my reviews of the classic games. So, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do redives for all of those, talking about the stuff I forgot to mention. For a lot of stuff like Sonic 1, Sonic uh, Sonic 2, Sonic CD, etc., it's just, um, you know, the music. But then in stuff like uh, Sonic 3, for example, I completely forgot, like, I completely cut out the section where I was, where I talked about the boss fights. I did that to save time, but at the same time, it's like, it, it makes it feel kind of empty compared to the others. So in a way, I guess you could also see those as, like, uh, the redives as, like, part twos to the original theory, or theory, reviews. I've been watching too many theory videos, okay? <laughs> Why would you put rings leading to goal spheres? That's so, that's so mean! Because <laughs> naturally I'm gonna want to follow the rings, but they lead to death. Getting all the Chaos Emeralds in Sonic 1, literally all it does is change the ending, that's it. But, you know, for the sake of this run-through, I want to get the good ending, so... I guess this is technically this game's casino level. It's more of a dystopian city than a casino, you know? I mean, it's got bumpers and the such, but it's not really a casino level, because there's no, like, slot machines or anything like that. Ah, fuck it! I hate these fucking... I forget what they're called. The ones... The guys with the spikes on their back, I hate them. Because you can't jump on them. You have to roll into them to hurt them. Those, fuck those fuckers took away all my goddamn rings, and I am not- 
I am not just going to take the L on that one and be like, I'll get them in Labyrinth Zone. I am not trying to hold on to 50 rings in fucking Labyrinth Zone. You can eat my ass. <laughs> if you expect me to do that, then fuck right off. I am not fucking doing that. Okay, I'll, I'll put a safe state here at the beginning of the level. This is part of the reason why I don't like collecting the Chaos Emeralds in the older Sonic games, aside from Sonic 3. Because not only is it a tr not only are the special stages themselves, again, aside from Sonic 3, hell, but just the process of getting to the special stages is a chore. Because instead of just, you know, going fast and speeding through the levels, I gotta meticulously plan my jumps and everything like that to make sure I grab as many rings as possible and not get hit by any enemies. Safe slot. Special stage number six. Here we go. See, the Chaos Emerald is right near the beginning. Problem is, the way the special stage moves. This is probably the smallest special stage in the game, which is ironic considering it's the last one. Mm. Normally you'd think the last one would be the hardest, but nope. And there we go! I don't have to worry about getting any more emeralds. I got them all. Sonic got them all, yeah. Woo. I'm actually hoping Sonic Origins has good mod support, because, uh... I'd love to see, like... It's updated to, uh, from, from what I've been able to tell, uh, based on both, uh, both Simon Tomley and, uh, Christian Whitehead, what they've said on Twitter about Sonic Origins, uh, the versions of the games that are in it have, uh, like, for example, the versions of Sonic 1, 2, and CD, no changes were made to them, aside from them being updated to the current version of the Retro Engine, the same version that Mania runs on. And the same thing goes for the version of Sonic 3 that's in that game. It's running on the version of the Retro Engine that Mania ran on. And Mania is a lot easier to mod for than, uh, than the Retro Engine versions of Sonic 1, 2, and CD. So I'm hoping Origins has good mod support, because I'd love to see, like, for example, uh, m maybe a Mania-fied mod, where it's basically the games but with mania style sprites like using the actual mania assets from the levels that were in mania and then maybe some custom made ones for the ones that weren't i mean uh there's already one guy on uh deviantart alex 13 art he made maniafied versions of uh all of the levels from sonic 1 that weren't in mania so marble spring yard labyrinth starlight and scrap brain he made maniafied versions of those and he also made a uh, maniafied version of uh, metropolis zone from sonic 2 because if Origins isn't going to include a Mania mode, then I hope the fans can do something like that. Because that would be cool. And there's also custom Mania-style uh, sprites and everything on stuff like the Spriders Resource, DeviantArt. Oh boy, here we go! I just finished Spring Yard! You know what that means! Time for hell? Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Every time I hear this music, I can't help but think of Radical Soda's video. It's just like, I just can't do this shit, I just can't play anymore. You claim your game is fast, but here I am on the floor. I'm gonna flip my shit, I'll push you back into the drawer. I hear you calling out, I just can't take it. This gun is jammed. <laughs> oh, Sonic baby, why you go and do this? Why? I loved you so, I loved you baby. Why don't you have safe files like in Mario? Oh, don't pick your little hedgehog, cause she a fucking mean it, dude, I really mean it. Every, every time I hear this song, I can't help but think of that. And I have memorized the fucking lyrics to it as well. Like, I've been watching Radical Soda's videos ever since Mania came out. That's actually, it was because of Mania that I got... Actually, a lot of the Sonic Tubers I watch nowadays, it's because of Mania that I got introduced to them. You know, like, you know, like, uh, Sam Procrastinates, uh, Garrelis64, Radical Soda. I got introduced to them because of either the hype leading up to Mania, or Mania itself. <laughs> really?! I got hit the instant my fucking... Like, the literal instant my invincibility went away. I got hurt, because I was overlapping that spike ball. Oh my god! It happened again! 
And I'm drowning, of course. There we go. Fuck you, Orbanaut. And of course, I'm not talking about the fucking uh, framework. You don't get that joke, do you? Uh, there's a fan made. There's a like. There's a fan made Sonic framework for Game Maker uh, called Orbanaut, and it's like the most accurate framework uh, uh, framework out there. So like, anyone who wants to get into Sonic. Uh, into you know Sonic fan game making. If you're good at uh, if you're good at Game Maker Studio, uh, Orbanaut is the most accurate one out there. All right, look at this. You see how I'm sliding down? Mm-hmm. The level wraps vertically infinitely. Jesus. And also, watch what happens when I try to jump. Okay, that was normally it's. Normally, when I just press the jump button, he barely jumps at all, and you're supposed to hold back to actually get off of that, but not here, apparently. Yeesh. Am I playing Revisional 1? I thought this is re I thought this is the original version that re released, not the- not Revisional 1. I don't know, all, all it's listed as is, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog japan.bin that's what the rom ha that's what the rom file is listed as cuz it's the japanese version of sonic 1 so like you see that you, you see the how the background here is waving and uh, like it's you see what i'm talking about how it's waving because you're underwater so water mm -hmm. distortion yeah it mm -hmm. doesn't it doesn't do that in the american version in the american version it stays perfectly still just like it does above water Wow. And and there's other stuff as well, like for example, uh, the clouds in Green Hill Zone don't move on their own in the American version, but they do move on their own in the Japanese version. Or the clouds in uh, Marble Zone, uh, they have uh, the the clouds in Marble Zone have different uh, scroll speeds. Um, like in the Japanese version, they have different scroll speeds. So the the higher up they are, the faster they scroll to signify that they're closer to you. But in the American version, they all scroll at the same speed. Yeesh. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I think the Japanese version is Revision 01. That that never clicked in my head because the American version released first. The Japanese version released a whole fucking month after the American game. That only just now clicked in my head. The Japanese version is Revision 01. Mm -hmm. And also, speaking of the, uh, the Orbanaut framework that I mentioned earlier, the creators are actually working on a... Um, they're actually working on a fan game called Sonic 1 Revisited, which is literally just... It's literally just Sonic 1 rebuilt in the Orbanaut framework to show how accurate the framework is to the actual Genesis games. Like, it's not perfectly accurate. I don't think anyone can get perfectly accurate to the Genesis games because of the way the code worked. But, um... It's, it's probably the most accurate uh, fan game framework out there. Like, it's certainly more accurate than Sonic Worlds, that's for sure. That That's one thing in the Sonic fan community, both uh, people who play the fan games and people who make fan games, is that Sonic Worlds is highly inaccurate. Like, it, it's horribly inaccurate. Like, the, the physics are good, they're just horribly inaccurate to the Genesis games, so it always feels off when people try to make an actual Genesis-styled game in it. Anyways, this boss is fucking ridiculous. It's, it's just a fucking chase. You don't even have to hit him. Like, you can, but you don't have to. Look at that. I, I only hit him once. Damn. I don't know if maybe they had a boss planned here and just scrapped it or what, but... <laughs> ah, Starlight Zone. There's probably a lot of people... Like, this level right here is probably a lot of people's favorites. It's definitely my favorite. And also, uh, Green Hill and Starlight are the only two levels in this game to have loops. Mm. Think about that for a second. They're the only two levels in this game to have loops. 
Why is the main melody on the same channel as the fucking ring sound effect? I never noticed that until now. The, Cause you know the Genesis sound chip could only handle up to nine uh, channels, right? Well, actually it could hold up to 11, but Sonic games usually only ever used nine. So they used five FM channels, one DAC channel for the uh, drums, and then three PSG channels, two for the square, and uh, one for the noise. But that includes the sound effects, of course, because, again, limited. But why the hell is the main melody of this song on the same channel as the ring sound effect? Wait, whose idea was that? Probably someone stupid. Because it makes it so that whenever I collect a ring... Sonic pushing the air, apparently. Whenever I collect a ring, it interrupts the main melody of the song! Oh, Jesus, the slowdown. I forgot how much this game slowed down whenever there's too much shit on the screen. Alright, here we go to the last zone in the game, Scrap Brain. Well, I mean, technically there's also Final Zone, but I just see that more as a boss act rather than its own level. And in this level, EVERYTHING WANTS YOU DEAD! <laughs> EVERYTHING! Oh my fucking god! There we go. That was quite the bounce there, and fucking great! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh my god, the same place, really?! <laughs> I only have four lives left. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna fucking do a safe state here, so if I die again, I can restart, because... Oh, thank god I didn't die this time. Alright, we're at the end of the level. I don't know why that signpost was halfway in the ground, but okay. Mm -hmm. And now we're inside, I guess? Because, you see, it's a different background. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're inside now? Okay, there's some sprites missing there. You see that? Uh, there's a few... There's just a few silver rings missing there. Ah! Fuck, I forgot about that one. Alright, well, I'm getting close to the end of the level, so... Uh, fucking mace! There we go. Need to head down this time. Couple more swinging maces. Yep. I don't even think I touched that one. Anyway. Alrighty. Yeah, see, watch. There's a there's a cutscene here that plays. I mean, you're on slightly bit of a delay, but... Mm. Yeah, you see that laser wall that he's standing behind? And that button he just hit? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll see once we get to final zone. Hey, look! It's Labyrinth Zone again! Yay! Yeah. Luckily, I've played this game enough times to know where to go in this level. But this is this is just adding fuel to the fire. It's adding salt to the wound, like I said in my review. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Scrap Brain alone was already hell, and now you gotta fucking make us go through a fourth act of Labyrinth Zone. And there we go. That's Scrap Brain. Now we're on the final zone. And, yeah, see? You see this laser wall right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I consider this to just be Scrap Brain's boss act, because it literally is. Ah, oh, great, this boss. Just imagine, though, if you were a kid and you didn't know about the continue system, you didn't know about the level select, if you got a game over here, you had to play the entire fucking game all over again. Seriously? Yeah, like, this is the fucking final boss, but... If you didn't know about the continue system or the level select... If you got a game over here, you'd have to play the entire fucking game all over again. Jesus. Just imagine that, being a kid... Uh, you finally get to the final boss of Sonic 1, and you die, and you have to play the entire fucking game all over again. I'd rage quit that at that point. That would just suck. Yeah, I'd ra if that were me, I'd rage quit at that point. 
<laughs> Aha! We did it! Now, you can choose to either hit him or not hit him, but of course I'm gonna fucking hit him. <laughs> yeah, see, this is a slightly different ending if you get all the Chaos Emeralds. Mm -hmm. Totally worth the pain and suffering to just see <laughs> flowers in the. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you get you get the chaos emeralds. You get to see Ravana doing that. Versus if you don't get all the chaos emeralds, then he's just juggling. He's juggling the remaining chaos emeralds that you didn't get. So if you got like three chaos emeralds, then in this ending you'd see him juggling the remaining three. <laughs> all right. Well, that was Sonic One, everybody. But that does it for. This stream, I will see you on Monday with sort of a more random stream. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, check the link down below for my Twitch, because that's where I'm going to be streaming more often than not. Like, when Sonic Origins comes out, of course, I'm going to be uh, streaming that on YouTube, primarily because that's where my main audience is anyways. But um, aside from that, most of my streams are going to be on Twitch. So, again... Twitch, uh, Twitch link down in the description below. Um, thank you all so much for watching this, and yeah, see you Monday with whatever the hell I feel like, and then next Thursday with playing through Sonic CD.